Leo. 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 This is two-year-old Jay doing what comes natural, getting interactive with mom's iPhone. It, it literally is like a magnet. Yeah, the more we play with it, the more they want to have it. Parents Sarah and Pete Marcalisi already know what researchers are learning. Without guidelines, kids can be in danger of becoming almost addicted to the media. When you grow up with that being sort of the norm, um, I could see how they would have trouble probably communicating as they got older. It's a heat-seeking missile. A loose count, there are more than 40,000 kids' games at various app stores, most targeted at preschool or elementary age kids. They're here to stay is the first thing. Electronic devices, screen time, media consumption is a part of the daily lives of young children. The 2011 report by the Academy discourages screen time for kids under the age of two, but the reality is kids under one are logging lots of hours on screens already. I have an 11 month old who is already very much in love with my iPhone. Um, will reach out for it. He has little apps on the phone already. And there is also danger of using the devices as a pseudo babysitter. Same thing with some of their TV shows. They're just like, more, another one, another one. It becomes very hard to establish family rules that say no screen time at dinner when you have adults with cell phones and iPads right at the dinner table. Researchers say it's very hard to pull the plug on screen time after kids get used to touching. If the rule in the household is you can watch for 30 minutes, then the best strategy is to literally set a timer for 30 minutes. Then it's not the parent saying, get off, it's the timer ringing, up, oh, time's up. It makes it much easier to stop put it away and move on to another activity. To make sure your child doesn't get too much screen time, set limits early. In Denver, Champ Omen, Fox 31 Denver.